So when I joined the Navo Mentoring Program, I was very new to Arizona. Um, it was back in August. Uh, I had gone to one of the Navo luncheons and heard about the mentoring program there. Um, we had just moved in July, so we were not even here, I think, a month at the time. And I was looking for opportunities where I could network with other women. Um, and being someone who doesn't really like to network, I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to kind of force myself to get out of my shell. And I thought, okay, I've got, a, I had a day to complete the application. And of course my son gets sick like that night. Um, so I quickly put together the application, submitted it. And I just, you know, I prayed that it would get accepted. And thankfully um, I was accepted into the program. And my, my key goal, I mean, I have been in business for, I had been in business for like nine and a half years at that point. And so I had some of the foundations done, but being new to Arizona, moving here from Michigan, I really didn't uh, feel that I, I knew kind of what the business space was in Arizona. So I wanted to really get to know folks that, that have been running businesses and especially just, just join other women business owners. I mean, being an entrepreneur can be very lonely. So this helped me build that sisterhood as soon as I moved to the Valley, essentially. So I just, I really um, was looking for the, the support and the guidance as we built our business uh, being here in, in Arizona. Uh, and it's really helped me uh, not only grow our business while we've been here, uh, but we have a really nice plan, a foundation of where we want our business to go. And we were able to do all that through the mentoring program. So I'd have to say the, the top three things that I've uh, really gotten out of the Navo mentoring program is one, no matter where you're at in business, you really need to have the foundations in place. You need to focus on your financial projections, making sure you're getting the bookkeeping, the accounting done, you know, looking at where you're spending your money, uh, because that really helped us identify what were some of the things that we needed to focus some more of our budget on and some of the things that we could cut because we hadn't been utilizing some of the tools. So, you know, having those financial projections and really projecting where you want to be uh, for 2017 for us was, was amazing. Um, another thing that we were able to, that I, that I was able to get out of the, the program is just the, the basics of getting out and meeting new people. Uh, when I was in Michigan, we ran our own events, so we constantly had people coming to us. So I didn't have to, I guess, break out of my shell. <laughs> um, and I was able to meet people in my own comfort zone. Uh, so this helped me you know, build that sisterhood of other women um, entrepreneurs who helped me kind of uh, show me the ropes. And I was introduced to people immediately uh, in the program. And they have been my, my support, my accountability partners. And I know that our relationship will even go beyond uh, the mentoring program. We've really built some strong uh, foundations. Um, so I just, I really um, am very thankful for the program for that. And um, another thing that I really got out of the program is that, you know, there's really no competition. And even though I knew that logically, and I even teach others about how there's no competition, especially in our business and in our industry, um, it just... I always felt that for me, but there's a way that, that I do my business and there's a way that it attracts people to come and work with me. And so what I, what I was able to do through the mentoring program was really solidify my um, elevator pitch, if you will, my, my 30 second intro to where it really speaks to who I serve and what I do for them. And it's not like I'm rambling on and on when I do actually meet people. So I'm really thankful that I was able to really uh, just hone that in and get that really narrowed down. So I have that for me as I'm going out there and meeting new folks and building my business here locally.